This is your News Now Sports. Good evening, everyone. Tyler Segerman here with you. Rain and baseball typically don't play well together, but because the games in cold water got pushed back, it actually allowed for a rare matchup between team aces. Ohio State signee Landon Price and the defending state runners-up Lincoln View Lancers battling eighth-ranked LCC and sophomore Billy Burke for a district title tonight. Opening frame, Price ringing up a pair of Thunderbirds straight filth from the lefty. He ended up with a dozen on the evening. Third inning, his team up 1-0. Connor Gephardt laces the baseball to deep right center. Matthew Quatman and his speed makes a lap around the bases and scores from first to tie the game. LCC tacks on another and goes up 2-1. Bottom half, Cole Binkley beating the infield with a base hit up the middle. Reed Jackson trots in from third. And just like that, Lancers answer back. They would add two more to make it 4-2. In the fourth, Brandon Renner looking to add on, and he finds a hole the other way. Austin Bockrath coming right at you and proceeds to hone his inner slip and slide form. Lincoln View returns to the regional tournament, winning 6-3. They'll face Lipsick and Hamler on Thursday at 5, a rematch of last year's regional finals. Another all-local affair being played in Bluffton. Division II district semifinal action pins Salina and Wapakoneta against each other. Top of the first. The Bulldogs load the bases, but Braden Goulet gets out of it. The strikeout ends the threat and gets Wapak into the dugout with still zeros still on the board. They change that, though, in the home half of the frame. Austin West ropes one past the infielder into right. Bases loaded single drives home Tyler Eccles, and Goulet comes in diving behind him. Redskins take a 2-0 lead. They're looking for more in the second, but Quinn Andrew snares the comebacker to the mound and calmly doubles off the base runner over at first base. That ends the inning, but Andrew's counterpart Goulet is just too good. He strikes out the side in the fifth inning. 10 Ks for the University of Finley commit in a one-hat shout-out victory. 3-0 is the final. Wapak will play for District Gold tomorrow at 2 against Tiffin Columbian. At Ed Sandy Field, Coldwater seeks their third district title in four seasons, taking on Eastwood, the number two ranked team in the state, who jump out to a 1-0 lead in the first and looking for more. But Braylon Harlemer fills the hole at second, robbing the Eagles of a hit as he throws out the runner to keep a deficit within a single tally. Fast forward to the fifth, Cavaliers still searching for their first run. Josh Kaup lays down the bunt in order to move a runner over, but there will be no sacrifice. Throw gets away, allowing Braxton Howell to race home and get dirty. Coldwater on the board, tying the game at once. To the sixth we go, Cavs once again trailing Hal. This time at the plate will score a run. The sophomore painting the line. Hollermort comes in standing up and this game is all knotted up again at two. But Eastwood would answer back once more to go up 3-2. So final chance for Coldwater. Reese Mesher unloading his strength into this pitch over the left fielder's head for a double to put the tying run in scoring position. Yet that's as close as he would get as Coldwater's season comes to an end in Elida, losing by the score of 3-2.